Can we move? <clears throat> I need more water. Oh shit, I'm maxed. Alright, let's finish this edit. Those are so fucking annoying. They sent one salad to my fucking face every time I left it. I can't fucking wait to eat the treats, because good mass bosses with food words and disruptors get the fuck out of my meat. Serious. No. <laughs> Fucking observer right here. Chasing down the protons. And there were no pieces. And there were no. Doing the man once everybody else was safe. Satisfied that the insane soldier wasn't going. There was always the possibility of finding as doing the man once Why everybody else was safe. Buzzing. Satisfied that the insane. If not, there was always the possibility of finding as doing the man once everybody else was safe. There wasn't anything Roman could do about that. <laughs> and moving off into the unexplored and saw the man moving off there wasn't so hot you heard my feelings there's the text buddy all right perfect hey -o. hi -o. oh it's for him Oh shit, dude. It's already dope. Play. Sorry, guys. My friend sent me to gain great wealth and honor. Hold on. My, fr my friend sent me a, a sizzle. A sizzle trailer. Samurai would collect... He wants to make a samurai series, and this looks fucking dope. Like I understand, I understand what he's going for. Brian, you are so good at setting a mood, my man. Is it a film? No, it's it's a series he wants to to uh, develop. I guess he's calling it a samurai story, and it's I'm not gonna lie to you, it looks dope. The idea is that like basically there's this dude. It, the, the whole thing is about samurai and like how they would take heads. Uh, of enemies. That's dope. Now we put it to fucking uh, Rage Against the Machine. And then, like, but if you, like, look one in the eye, it basically, like, if you look the head of your enemy in the eye after his death, it'll come back to haunt you as, like, a ghost samurai. And it looks like there's also, like, some demon stuff. It's like a supernatural samurai series and it looks fucking dope. Again, it's a, it's a sizzle trailer so it's like a fake trailer. It's just using a bunch of different like 
stuff to kind of give like the vibe of what he's going for is what he was saying to me. And it honestly seems fucking sweet. It would be really cool. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. What? Sorry, my friend sent me a like a sizzle trailer, sizzle reel, sizzle reel kind of thing. Yeah, I can't speak. It's fucking dope though. Welcome to hell. Why is that? I don't know. He just decided to say that. <laughs> the Peter, the Santa, Maria, the new Sam, the Red Pest, the Priest of his Hosea. Let's see here. That is fantastic. And didn't seem, and it didn't seem to be different. So Ryan, get in here. I can't yet, man. I'm like halfway done with my thing. It's just I've gotten distracted by a few things. Otherwise, I would be already well, all the way done. I can hear you. What are you talking about? I can hear you, Ritho. Can you not hear me? I'm not AFK. I'm editing. Editing. Yeah, I got. I got rid of it. I'll rape whatever hole I want. And in that moment. Sorry. No. And joking. And in that moment. Mostly. And, and in that. I kill you. And in that moment. There we go. No, I'm uh. I'm uh. I'm editing. I got distracted by a few other things. And yes, as Silent said earlier, that's Zren time. So it'll be like two hours. Roman revised editing. Yeah, I have. Combat. My most the recent video. Roman Editing what? Editing my voice, my audio book, my audio chapter for Salvage, which is like the main thing I do on my YouTube channel. And I recorded it last week. I recorded it early last week, and I just haven't edited it yet because I hate editing. If anyone wants to edit for free, you're allowed. Just. Don't like do weird shit to my video. Oh god. You go for whatever you ah. uh, want. He didn't bother to wait. If they were going to jump him, that would just give him. He didn't bother to wait for a reply. If they were going to jump, if they were going to jump. Yay. Yay. Nice. Oh my gosh. Easy win. You guys actually pro brushing? What are you doing? Oh God! Hi, Nathaniel. Not a whole lot, buddy. Just editing. Cool. Some goes to while I walk your dog. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely, man. Nathaniel. Yeah, that's all of them. Yeah, yeah. Pull the just game the YouTube copyright system without really doing anything wrong. What is it, Nathaniel? God, what are you, what are you suggesting? Audio. Well, Aaron, I'll pull with you. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Go, 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 go. I think you lost. I'm sorry, I got a marine coming. Oh, I can literally I control your shit. Okay, okay, it's drill time. It's the room? Real time. I'm sorry. I'm, so taking, I'm taking everything. Valery Markovic. Bring it home. The room contains. Fuck. We're all in this together, yes we are. So at the end of this editing, guys, I will have to go through the video, oh, um, really and then oh, hey blimp. He drilled, he drilled better than me. Um. How did we lose? Two I will guys. run through it and then I will upload it. Dude, relax. If Valeri uh, had been uh, unconscious. No, he's recalling. He did enough damage. If Valeri. Can you send me a don't send him anything. He doesn't deserve them. I can't yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not until 4.30. Oh. Uh, 
After fine. You know, if you didn't so play so many peep mode games and you played more team games. <laughs> After finding. The corridors may look as though a bomb had gone off, but this that didn't mean. Like, uh, <laughs> the may Cause your money is yours. Oh yeah, I hit my. The corridor. Dates? Fucking always. I feel like they're gonna get a sell it or so. Roman held oh torch my God, and data pad. Would be so good. I'm just trying to get gas right now. There we go. It's enough. Hi, hi, hi. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum. Just get minerals and then. Ba, 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 bum. Okay, he just yeah, wanted to be this guy's good. provided. I go he just up, wanted I go to be up. able to. He just. Drones are faster than marines. Just saying. By a little bit. Which was a. This is gonna be. So a you hard can only tell game. me nothing. Is okay, two marines now. Which three. was a little bit of an overstatement, perhaps. I'm sending you yes. Which was a little bit of an overstatement, perhaps. Um, a bunny. Okay. Which was a little bit of an overstatement, but perhaps only a Actually, little bit. Actually, since you're not doing anything else, you have control of uh, yeah. okay. You guys are making my head. Oh, mute. Money back then, back then. Uh, money mute. Mute. Uh, mute. Mute. Alright. They're all muted for a second, just so I can. <laughs> gotta mute myself, too. Mute. Okay, now I can focus. Now, let's see. Do the thing. I know, this is super fucking boring. Basically, you write anywhere from a crappy to a halfway decent intro song music clip. Proceed to use said audio clip in every YouTube video, then copy claim every one of your YouTube videos because it is using your intellectual property. But then I get in trouble, don't I? Don't has And I have to pay myself? How does that work? Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to knock those fuckers out if they've been breathing. I don't understand. Uh, I'm confused. Adrian, uh, I don't understand. I'm very confused, buddy. Adrian, rep Adrian, rep Adrian replied. Oh, I don't know. I hate listening to my voice when I'm editing. Put your fucking. Put your fucking. Put your fucking hands up, mate. All right, gents. If Big Name Artist, because it is using your intellectual property, if Big Name Artist can claim any video that has so much of a sound bite, then this seems fair game. Uh, fair dinkum, I suppose. Fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. Oh, the AdSense? I guess that makes sense. Haha, <laughs> literally. Holding up. I hate editing. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, edit, you know what? I'm going to approach this with a more positive attitude. And then, and then the I love editing. Editing is so much fun. I love editing. Oh, editing is so much fun. Ah, oh, that makes it better slightly. Except it doesn't. It just makes me want to kick myself in the face for lying. I love editing. Look at this big fake fax file. He didn't really need the rush of being wary. Oh, it's a little. All he wanted was Jen and some goddamn peace and quiet. He didn't. Not long. Not. I hate editing. I love editing. I love editing. <laughs> as long as you claim and don't strike, you should be fine. Just make up some sort of shell company so no one catches on. Oh, that's amazing. Make the soundbite property of said shell company and no one will really be the wiser. You're uh, Honestly, you're probably absolutely right. Like, it, 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 Algorithms are Adrian. obviously not able to dis discern certain things, right? As I recall, Roman glared at him. Adrian retired him so injured. Adrian returned the glare. Adrian returned the glare. Mate. Editing.
Sitting is so much fun. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's see if we can do that. I'm not going to copy Strike. I'm going to copy Claim. Okay, anyway. That didn't make Roman happy either. I swear to you, I heard something. That didn't. But Adrian supposed that if a crew he was leading. <clears throat> that didn't make Roman happy either. That didn't make Roman happy. That didn't make Roman happy either. But Adrian supposed that if a crew he was leading was in that position. Shit. And the majority there. Shit. It was getting harder for Adrian not to feel the same way. Not to feel the same way. Bill Clinton apparently made an appearance in my video. He was just hanging out saying, Hey, how's it going? Y'all want to smoke? Just a little one from Arkansas. I'm like a slick southern hillbilly. We are now on a direct... That can play smooth on jazz on the saxophone. How about that? You like it? Good. I'm gonna go get a blowy in the office, apparently. It. <laughs> How's that working out for you? Ah, how's that? You see, the secret is deny, deny, deny. He said. It almost worked for me, guys, but uh, no cigar, <laughs> if you know what he I said, mean. Putting the date. He said, putting the data pad to where its tiny little microphone could do. It's wrong. It's wrong. Everything I'm doing is wrong. I can't do it right. This method might actually be a way to bypass the monetization process. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, the whole rigmarole YouTubers have to go through before they're allowed to have advertising on their videos. So... My, the editing software I'm using right now, Lemwell, is um, uh, Audacity. I'm just using Audacity right now this for the uh, straight-up audio editing. Um, later, I have something called Shotcut, um, which I will use to take the audio. Um, actually, I'll just bring it up right now. I'll use this. It's called Shotcut, and I will take the audio. I will add it as a track, and then I will add a video track, um, and I will just add a still background as the... the uh, still images the background and video of the uh, thing, but soon that will be changing because you see this back wall I'm gonna cover all of this crap with um, What do you call it? Uh, acoustic acoustic foam or acoustic um, uh, Material that will absorb some of this echo that I know you can all hear right now because I can hear it um, and then, yeah, it's got to be a thousand, by the way, Nathaniel. Um, I'm at seven sixty or something like that right now, so it's got to be a thousand. I have two hundred and forty left. Which, thank you guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for uh, subscribing if you haven't yet. I, I, I doubt you haven't, but if you haven't, go ahead, because I, I feel like the people that watch my streams are typically the the subs. So. Oh, but anyway, that was good water. Got all over my face. I liked it so much. Yeah, let's keep going here. Doesn't look like I have too much anything crazy here. Just going through this motherfucker, doing all this silly stuff. Where are we? Where are we going now? What was wrong with him? Where are we going now? The Russian asked him, managing. All he could do was try and fight the effects on his judgment and hope that he could find a human doctor on Symbrian who could figure out what was wrong with him. Where are we going now? Shit. Where are we going now? Where are... What was wrong with him? Where are we going now? All he could do, let alone... We're getting close to the finish line. Probably got a third of this thing left, maybe. Adrian was great pair. Ah, uh, Adrian and uh, what? No shit.
He looked the man straight in the eyes and spoke with deadpan delivery. No shit. Adrian was still alive, and for once a near death. Hmm? Oh shit! Oh dang! <laughs> Dante's Inferno plus John Wick plus... What was the last one he said? Seven Samurai or something? Plus just Samurai, okay. Pretty fucking cool though. Roman can... He looked the man straight in the eyes and... Roman considered his next words carefully. He looked the man straight in the... Still. All right. <laughs> Guys, this is why editing sucks, because it's really boring. Um, hey, I have an idea, you guys. I have an idea. I have an idea. You guys can be my proofers while I go do something else for a second because I don't wanna proof this. What the fuck? Roman demanded, his eyes still too. What the fuck is so funny? Roman demanded, his eyes still too flare blind to see. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one a lot. What the what the fuck is so funny? <laughs> that shit cracks me up every time. What is so fucking fu fuck? Uh, what the fuck is his eyes still? <laughs> what the fuck is so funny? Bro what the fuck is so fun? What the f what the what the the Australian began laughing like. The Australia The Australian Nathaniel, this is chapter 66. If you've if you've listened up to chapter 65, you're fine. You you, 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 you could an air of legitimacy make it so your wife owns the soundtrack so it's not you claiming the works. Dude, I don't know. See, that's the thing. The whole thing is ridiculous. Thank you, Well, yes, yeah, such audacity. <laughs> yeah. Both of them. Uh. Who is text? <laughs> okay. Exquisite pleasure in fu- Both of them screamed out. Literally just takes exquisite pleasure in- Literally just takes exquisite pleasure in fucking with his characters. So <laughs> he really does, too. Dude, fucking, uh, Rantarian loves fucking with his characters so much. It's mean. Both of them screamed- Both of them screamed out. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves fucking with his characters so much. He's like, I'm gonna make- put them in the worst possible situations and see how it goes. See. Running. Running. Roman. Roman asked. Roman asked. Roman asked. Turn. Roman asked. Roman asked. Roman esque. Oh, Nathaniel, yeah, you might want to take just a little bit of a break from the stream then. That is a great part though, where she becomes functionally immortal, maybe. 
We're not even sure if that immortal is really even the right word. Very young for a good long duration, meaning like her telomeres probably don't lose length or something like that, like they're self-repairing. Yeah, good point, Nath Nathaniel. Every time I see your name, all I can think of is Nathanius, who's a caster in, uh, in StarCraft. A very good caster, too. Decent player. You know, not a pro, but has always always been on that grind. I, I probably should have led with. God, just this the stuff that Rantarian comes up with. I'll check back later and catch up. Oop, and I oop. Sk, 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 sk. My my niece Sophia is ten, so I hear some of this shit. And I oop, sk, 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 sk. Sk, 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 And I oop. I have a hydro flask. She actually does have a hydro flask, and she has bunches of scrunchies. I worry. I worry that the memes are getting too much for the children. This is wrong. Wu-Tang was for the children, but are the memes? Oh. Now I see. This is... And Roman recognized the... You've been listening in, Roman, came the terse reply. And Roman recognized the voices belonging to that. Oh. Do you read me? You've been listening in, Roman, came the... This is Roman Markovich. Do you read me? This is Roman. This is Roman Markovich. Do you read me? We've been listening in, Roman Markovich, came the terse reply. And... Oh. This is wrong. So, like, super cancer. K kinda? Because that, you know, that's a weird thought. I Since cancer cells don't really die, um, you know, of their own accord, maybe that is the secret to immortality. Maybe our bodies have been trying to become immortal, but they're just doing it wrong and going haywire. I don't know. I don't know, man. Or maybe cancer is just bad. And there's nothing we should find in it. Because it's just a disease. Man, if they come out with it, if they come out with gene editing that can, like, prevent you from early onset Alzheimer's or something like that, or keep your mind active into your golden years, yeah, I would 100% do that. You could sign me the fuck up immediately because I watched two of my grandparents slip into senility uh, one one just full blown Alzheimer's, the other one early early stage dementia, um, and she she fell and and hit her head unfortunately before the disease itself could take her. Um, actually, on Christmas a couple of years ago, it was pretty rough. Um, miss you, Granny, but it is a horrible process to watch them forget you to forget themselves, to forget their life. Um, so yeah, 100%. If that is something that was offered, I would take it in an instant. God damn it. Sorry, guys. I fucked that up a little bit. Yeah, 100% I would. I would if, if it becomes available, because that's the thing. We're still in CRISPR even, even though it's been out for what, like 10, 10, 15 years or something like that, CRISPR. Um, that's still early stage gene editing. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Do you? Dude. I'm muted. God. I, okay, the only reason... Everybody's muted. Well, isn't it kind of, uh, isn't it kind of a fucking crapshoot too, Nathaniel? Man, it it it's unfortunate, but it was you know, it was I hate to say it, almost a blessing in disguise in some regards. Like my grandmother was never in good health. She smoked and drank my whole adult life and lost a whole bunch of weight at one point had a couple of heart attacks lived a very long life for the activities that she indulged in to be perfectly honest 
Um, and as she was getting, she was losing it, you know, her falling was almost a blessing. And I hate to say that, but it, she went out at least knowing who she was and we got to, my mother at least got to say goodbye. So that was nice, but it was rough. Um, it was hard. It was really, really hard. It was, uh, it's a tough season overall, just cause like right before that, this was actually three years ago now, right before that, my brother had passed away about a week after his 22nd birthday or 20, God, I can't even remember. Well, he'd be 28 now. So <laughs> it's 20, 20, 24th birthday, right after his 24th birthday. So it was four years ago now, but yeah, that was a hard year. And like the year before that, we'd lost my uncle and my cousin. It was just, it was really rough, rough couple of years, you know, just man, all in succession. Oh man, I'm so sorry to hear that. His older brother is. Well, that's the thing. Even though you have the gene, you know, gene expression doesn't always happen the same in everyone. You know, the alleles are, are expressed differently depending on really everything. You know, my God, hormone balance. I know, Blimp. I'm really sorry. It's, it's, it's a pretty, <laughs> it was honestly a pretty sucky couple of years. Like it was tough, you know, um, and I I don't talk about it a whole lot. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so like our main character is a of samurai is about to lose his wife during childbirth and makes a deal with the devil to save her. The devil being a trickster kills the baby inside her. And when his wife founds out what he did, she kills herself too. What the fuck? So he decides he's going to search for the gates of hell to kill the devil for revenge. So the devil then sends out the ghosts of the men he's killed in battle to stop him on his way. That's season one. Holy shit, Brian. Sorry, guys. You know, I th I would think of it this way. The Alzheimer's is going to affect how you think and process information inevitably anyway. What would you have to lose at that point? Yes, you might think and process information slightly differently, but it's still your brain. You're no ship of Theseus at that point. It's one it's one gene. One gene. That's it. So, yeah, fair enough. And to each their own, especially. Like, that's the thing. Like, I completely understand the, you know, the the apprehension around the technology because it's unproven in a lot of ways. Yes, we've done some really cool things with it, but we have yet to see what the, <laughs> what the unintended consequences of any of that is. So, we'll see. Oh, fuck. Rowan picked up the data pad that the command crew had given Adrian. All right, so when I finally get this done, because I keep fucking getting sidetracked because that's what I do, it's my best big skill besides making all these voices for you. Hello, everybody. I'm Barry Rowan the Beaver. I chew lots of wood. <laughs> I don't know why I just came up with Barry Rowan the Beaver. Stared at the man. Roman stared the Hey everybody, I'm Barry the Beaver. I sound less retarded now, and I sound like I have buck teeth, because I'm putting my teeth out like this. That's the thing that I've always thought was very interesting about voice acting especially. You can't really do voice acting without the acting part first. Voice is really the second part. But how much of a personality change can occur from something as major as a gene that determines how a brain functioned? You're really reminding me <laughs> of the episode of uh, TNG, The Next Generation, Star Trek. Uh, 
used to be my favorite one. Still think Picard is the best captain, sort of. He's the best human captain. Um, I think the best captain overall, though, is probably the Cisco. Um, but he's also not totally human. He's also part wormhole alien, so whatever. You live here. Um, the episode where they basically want to tinker with Data, but it could alter him irrevocably. And that's a big, 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 big question, especially when you consider what they wanted to do to Data to see if they could replicate him. Um, but it was his choice, and that's the thing. It's your choice, too. You know, and I totally get that. Wait, who's canonical now, no take backs? Who's canonical? I can't. <laughs> if it's my brother, no. No, he doesn't belong in the canon. He's a good boy. He, well, he was. He, <laughs> brother was an interesting individual. I loved him very much. I don't know. I don't know, man. That's the thing. Is like It's so such a loaded thing. All right. I don't know. That being the case. All right, we're almost there, guys. We only have five minutes left it looks like oh whoops your guys your guy your mys your mys your mys your guys your boys rise of blides if you want to say rise of blides if you want to say razor blades in an australian accent you say rise up lights rise up lights would you like a rise of light? Oh my god, baby! He's got a rise of light! You gotta run away from him right now, baby! He's got a rise of light! Or there's... See, this is how I do accents. I find a key phrase, I say it over and over again in my head until I fucking find, figure out how to say it. It's like, Oh, she puts her chicken in a basket! You know, that's like the, the Scouse accent. She puts her chicken in the basket, you know? Very classy. He's canonical now. <laughs> the beaver. <laughs> I'm Barry Beaver. I'm Barry Beaver. My buck teeth can chew wood faster than you can say thickety pick. I'm sorry, I have a lip. Lickety split. That's how my brother laughed. Sometimes. Other times he laughed. Big old belly laugh, and it was fun. To, it was fun to make my brother laugh. He had a great laugh when he when he couldn't control it either. When he was like, when you were really getting him going, oh, he could not stop. It was wonderful. Hold on. Fucking potatoes! He grabbed them. Oh shit, my potatoes. He gra <laughs> I said, oh shit, my potatoes, so many times in this stream. It was ridiculous. Oh shit, my potatoes. Because I was making breakfast potatoes. I had taken fucking... I had taken potatoes and I had boiled them until they were fairly soft. And then I took uh, them and I coated them in oil and butter. Uh, and then I roasted them in the oven to make really crispy, exterior uh, you know... We better breakfast potatoes. And I kept forgetting... We better fuck him. That they were on a timer, and I kept having to go back and <laughs> flip them. I don't he know. Counts. Shake them. Shake, shake, shake. <coughs> I was dying there, apparently. <laughs> what did I do there? Jesus. And that something was. He counted every minute. something was hopefully being achieved <laughs> listening to the grunts of effort and frequent curses that indicated work was being done and that something was hopefully being achieved he counted every minute and a full seven passed before adrian reappeared with the torch in his mouth That's on Moonlight Bay.
Dang it, I forgot about the potatoes! Blip, I deleted so many of them already! I'd have to go, I'd have to hit control Z until this thing was all the way back to where it was. Blimp! Oh, I forgot, man. I'm such an idiot! Oh, I forgot I was gonna do that! That would have been so fucking funny! I promised. Get it? Palm? Because palm de terre is what you call potatoes in French. Never mind. I broke the joke open and it wasn't funny anymore. It's concerning also since I'm a male because it would change the DNA of my sperm and thus my future children. Is it? I thought, I thought that the gene editing on that level didn't, wasn't, um, there's a word for it and I cannot remember. It's not homozygous. It's not internecine. Fuck. Uh, there's a, there's a thing. Cause your bait, that DNA is separate essentially from you. Like, yes, it is you, but it's all possible you. Like it's, it's all your bits scrambled together. If I'm not mistaken. Female eggs aren't a sex, female eggs. Well, cause those are, those are created when you're born. Oh, okay. I guess it would, I guess it might then change it would probably change your your dna and your sperm then because you create that all the time and it constantly comes from you eggs are just already made in the body and they just sit in there waiting to drop right by the way is anyone else it's weird that there are women lay eggs essentially women are chickens also cows because they have udders that you can milk Uh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> they have udders you can milk. Oh my god. No, no, that. I've reduced women to egg laying chickens with boobs <laughs> that make milk. Great. Good stuff. Uh, much less. Okay. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, like, that's the thing, man, though. But, like,. Wouldn't it be a good thing for us to lose the gene? But see, we don't know what else that gene does. And that's your point. We know that it affects Alzheimer's, but it is all, but is it also a useful gene in some way? Because we don't, that's the thing. Our eyes are a clusterfuck of evolution. They work really well for what we need them, needed them to do and what we currently use them for. It's not bad either. But our vision is so janky. If you've ever looked into it, like we have holes in our vision all the fuck over the place that our brain just compensates for. We, we can't see like right here. You really can't see like inside here and you can't see like a certain area like right here. Your finger just disappears. Your brain just inputs what you what it thinks is there. So like if you have a white piece of paper, you can put a dot on it and in a certain way you can move it and that dot will disappear. You will you will still see paper. But it, that dot will be gone. It will just be white paper because that's what your brain assumes is going to be there because it, it's pattern recognition. It sees what's going on around it. It goes, all right, likely this is just going to be more white. I did not say women are cows. That's a hearty breakfast. It's weird now that I said it. Yes, it is weird that I said, okay. Quote of the year. I was trying to say that's a hearty breakfast. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> my wife is gonna kill me she's gonna beat me up all right let's get this editing done <laughs> fuck i only have two it's minutes left aside. of it yep. Yep. Pulling aside. i should have done the potato count damn it i'm gonna remember something like that in the future and we're gonna do it all right all right blimp you have to remind roman me tap. you have to remind me roman tap Roman tapped out because the butt. Nope, nope, it was too big. The butt was too big. That's what I was going to say. It had nothing to do with a plug. Beyond a like a, a plug. It's like you plug into the wall. Mm -hmm. Beyond yep, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hum a lot. Beyond a matter. Beyond a. So when I'm done, I'm going to leave this playing from the beginning, and all I need you guys to do <laughs> is tell me what timestamp, roughly, things are 
uh, that need to be changed. And I can go back and look in the chat and see what the hell I've done it wrong. Had never been uh. Uh. It had never been... It had never... We're almost there, guys. Minute and 30. Minute and 25. Not. Made a lot of mistakes here in the beginning. Not. I'm really digging this new method that I've been doing, though, for editing, where I clap after... Sorry, that's loud. Where I clap after every fuck-up, so it's really easy to identify them. Looks like... Looks like... It's much easier to find them when I have a big old fucking flag in the middle of the thing that tells me exactly what I'm looking for. Dutifully saying his prayers before he went to bed and confessing all to God and confessing all to the God he had long since abandoned in all but happened. Confessing all to bed and confessing then confessing all to God and confessing all to God and confessing all to God and confessing all to the God he had long since abandoned in all but habit. He and confessing all to the God he went to bed and confessing all to the God he had long since it's not a great edit, but it'll have to do because otherwise I have to re-record it and I'm lazy. You guys know this. You know I'm lazy. That's it. That's it right there. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm going to play it from the beginning. <laughs> I said there were chickens with mammaries you can milk. I didn't say they were cows with mammaries. You can milk. Maybe I did. I said they were chickens and cows, though. Oh, fuck me. All right. Just, all right. So this is going to play right here. If you guys, can you guys see the numbers? Are the numbers even visible? Is my shit HD or not? Oh, I had it way fucking low. That's right. I always have it on like 144 so I don't have to fucking worry about it eating up my bandwidth at all, but I don't have to do that anymore because <laughs> I have 500 megabit per second internet now, so that's ballin'. All right, guys. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Let me just, how could I do this? All right, I know what I can do. Go to this, and we'll go to, I'm gonna add something. I'm gonna add a, no, cancel. Display capture. Timestamp. STAMP. How do I... Mm. Mm. There's a way you could do this in um, not OBS, but the free version of what's it called? I can't remember what it was. Color, display capture, game capture, image, image slide, media source, scene, window capture. Audacity! Okay, now what I want to do is make this smaller, fit it into the corners, damn it, thing, fit it into the corners, wait, why am I doing it in this, god damn it, I'm an idiot, <laughs> yes, I want to remove audacity, I'm a big bumbling monkey butt. So is it more visible now? Hold on. I know I can do this. I know I can make this bigger. User Rantaria. No. Chapter 66. How do I make it bigger? How do I make it bigger? Eh. 
There's a way for me to make this bigger. I just don't know what it is. Uh, view. Zoom. Nope. <laughs> nope. Um, I'm trying, Blimp. I don't know how I can do this. I'm trying to make it bigger, but I don't know if I can. Also, I have Adriana Polachek. What is her name? Caroline Polachek. I have Caroline Polachek's song, So Hot You're Hurting My Feelings, stuck in my head, and it's it's starting to kind of drive me crazy. It's a good song, but fuck. Why does it have to fucking just keep rolling through my brain? All right. I don't... Ooh. Maybe I can make that bigger? So, okay. It's at the top here. Why is it not showing the bottom? It should be showing the whole screen. Why is it not showing my whole screen? Los is los. Ah, I see why. Exit game. That's why. Hold on. I got it. This should change it. Flushes lactic acid as it generates in your muscles, basically granting those that have it infinite stamina. That's incredible. See, that's that stuff is cool. That's really helpful. All right, let's see if this worked. It didn't. Why is it only capturing a portion of my fucking screen? That's why. Yes. There. Okay. Do the thing that I want you to do thing. Tell me this worked. Come on. Okay. I think that's as big as I can make the audio positioning and everything like that. I can try to get like a... I don't know what I'm doing. Can everyone see... Not that's fine. He. <laughs> yeah, I love that wallpaper. It's my favorite thing in the world. What, you don't like it? It's just a Nicolas Cage um, fucking uh, Geralt of Rivia. I don't really understand the problem. All right, guys. Here we go. I will be back in a moment. I got to converse with the wifey poo. Salvage. A story yeah, by user Ranteri. Chapter 66, Russian and Flushin. Hodgepodge, pirate cruiser, far reaches. There had not been many times in Roman Kaminsky's life when he had prayed. As a child, he had, of course, done as his parents had bade him, dutifully saying his prayers before he went to bed and confessing all to the God he had long since abandoned in all but habit. He prayed now, though, prayed that the mad Australian's equally crazy scheme to burn away the power conduits that connected the reactor to the FTL would not only not kill them, but would leave them in a position where they could actually get home, or at least back to base. Looks like they'd done a real job on fucking sealing this all up, Adrian observed, trying to get into the web of cabling that ran below the floor. Give me a knife, mate. Mine broken another floor. I do not have my knife, Roman was forced to admit. He hadn't seen much of a point to go carrying around yet more stuff tied to a vacuum suit that was not intended for such attachments. 
not when he was as equally capable to just kill by driving his fist into things. It had never been used on any of his missions out in Kelsey space thus far, but of course it was when you left it behind that it turned out you'd need it. Beyond a mutter of annoyed resignation, that admission didn't seem to do much besides mildly disappoint the muscle-bound Australian over the inconvenience, and he instead switched over to striking the paneled floor with the butt of his rifle. He struck three times on the same spot, driving at it with a precise yet savage power and crumpling the metal enough to get his fingers under. Then he heaved and tore the floor away with a roar of effort. Roman tapped his fingers against his gun to reassure himself that he could hopefully still stop this berserker of a man should he decide that he didn't like Russians. Looks like you didn't need a knife. Looks like, Adrian replied, pulling aside enough of the cabling to slip his whole body down into it. He looked back up to Roman, clicked his fingers and pointed at him. I need your fucking torch. Roman detached the small torch from his carabiner clip and tossed it to the man in the hole. Don't lose it. Adrian disappeared into the cabling after an experimental on-off-on click of the torch, ducking down below the webbed mass of cords and conduits and crawling into the darkness. Roman crouched beside the hole of ruined decking, listening to the grunts of effort and frequent curses that indicated work was being done and that something was hopefully being achieved. He counted every minute, and a full seven passed before Adrian reappeared with the torch in his mouth. We better fucking move, mate. Adrian advised, springing out of the hole with surprising grace for a man that big. He grabbed Roman by the arm and dragged him along with no apparent effort, a feat that underscored the difference in their power, and had Roman wondering whether all of this was due to the alien mutant juice the Australian had mentioned. If that were the case, the side effects must be significant to make him disdain it so. What's going on? Roman asked, finding his feet and moving under his own power all the way to the reactor. Is it going to blow? Yeah, I switched around a few cables, Adrian replied, getting to work on the reactor itself and working so swiftly that Roman wondered how long the man had been out here. The torch was returned with only a small amount of saliva coating the grip. You're gonna need that in a bit. Why would I need the torch? Roman asked, wiping it dry. Are the lights going to go out? Only once they've got a little brighter, Adrian said with the mad kind of grin that filled Roman with dread. This wasn't the kind of man that could be easily predicted and appeared to take delight in the fact, and that would inevitably make him a liability. What are you planning, Adrian? Roman demanded, fixing his eyes on those of the madman until the madness calmed. Tell me what you're planning. Rough hands ran through wild hair as the Australian recovered some small fragment of himself. Fuck, mate, I just... Switch the wires around on some control ports. Now I just need to burn the lights out to kick them over to the secondary conduit. I didn't have any way to move it when I was running all that power. Roman took the man by the shoulder, a firm yet reassuring grip to hold the man in his moment of sanity. Adrian, what do we need to do to make that happen? Just, we should get the guys on the command deck to set the course for Cimbrian first, Adrian said. There's a human colony there. Your guys might get treatment there. I could take them to the Kelsey bases, Roman replied. He didn't know about Cimbrian, and that probably meant it wasn't a Russian Kelsey initiative. That being the case, it would be pretty stupid to drop his men off there. I don't know how hurt they are, conceded Adrian, but I can tell you that we're not going to get anywhere like that for a long fucking time. Cimbrian? A day. No more than two. Roman stared the man in the eyes, looking for some trace of deception, but he found only absolute, fundamental exhaustion staring back at him. He'd seen that look in the eyes of men who had given up, and only those with a clear mission would keep pushing through. What was this man's mission? Those details would have to wait. Roman picked up the data pad that the command crew had given Adrian. This is Roman Markovich. Do you read me? This is Roman Markovich. Do you read me? We've been listening in, Roman Markovich, came the terse reply, and Roman recognized the voice as belonging to that raccoon guy. I've just locked in the coordinates for Cimbrian. Is this going to work? Roman looked to Adrian, who only answered with a thumbs up. That would have to be good enough, because Roman sure as shit didn't have any better answers. It's going to work. Tell them to set lights to negative one, said Adrian, still working on the reactor like a conductor in front of his orchestra. Then tell them to close their fucking eyes before they hit the go button. Did you hear that? Roman asked, but dropped the data pad as the lights flashed brighter than anything he'd ever seen before. He roared in shock and pain as the brilliance lanced into his eyes and threw his hands over them as quickly as possible. Similar sounds of pain came from the data pad. Adrian's advice had come a moment too late. I probably should have led with that, the Australian mused. I would hold your hands where they are, mate. 
It's only going to get broader. Roman didn't need that sort of advice. He had both hands clasped across his eyes, and the light was still working its way in through his permeable flesh. Every part of his exposed flesh was beginning to tingle under the intense white glare, and he contemplated whether it would escalate to actual burning. He didn't have to find out, because when the light seemed as bright as it could possibly get, there was a hiss of burning and the sharp scent of molten metal, and burned plastic filled the air. <sighs> then there was darkness and a hum from the direction of the FTL. What was that? Roman asked in alarm, flicking on his torch to show a rising cloud of smoke flowing from the hole. It's on fire! Adrian shook his head. I only fleshed the primary conduit in section. Probably not enough to start a real fire, but the FTL is now running on the line normally used as a backup for the lighting. Not a lot of power, but stable enough. We'll have to gravity spark ourselves to stop, though. So we have no lights? Roman asked, turning his torch to illuminate both of them. Except for the torches? And the displays of everything with a fucking scream, mate. Adrian replied. Truth be told, I'm a bit surprised all the lights didn't fucking explode. But small mercies, eh? As he said this, the lights flashed back on. Brilliant as before and flashing sporadically between dim and blinding and completely off. Both of them screamed out in pain as the all-encompassing flare caught them off guard. The lights finally died with spluttering bursts destroying every lamp, and the ship of darkness rumbled with gurgling thunder. There was absolute silence for a few moments afterwards, but then, for some reason, the Australian began laughing like this had been the most hilarious thing in the world. What the fuck is so funny? Roman demanded, his eyes still too flare-blind to really see the man, even with the aid of his torch. He certainly seemed to be in the grip of either madness or genuine amusement, or maybe a good measure of both. Mate, Adrian said between laughs, grinning like a fool. The other thing I hooked the FTL up to, it was the sanitation system. I just flushed every bog on this boat. That was the sounds of all the toilets flushing? Roman asked. Admittedly, it was at least a bit funny, but he pushed down the desire to laugh along. The most that made it to his face was a twitch at the corner of his lips. Adrian nodded, his amusement only marginally faded. Bet a hundred of the fucking things. Still, better to eject a hundred turds than either of us. Roman considered his next words carefully. He looked the man straight in the eyes and spoke with deadpan delivery. No shit. Adrian was still alive, and for once a near-death experience did not involve him floating in space and hoping that someone would save him. Actually being victorious for once had him giddy with relief. And while Roman seemed like kind of a hard ass, that pretty much went with the territory of being special ops. The point was that the man wasn't trying to kill him and that made a nice change. But the fact remained that Adrian was more tired right now than he had ever been in his life. His body may have already recovered from its exertions, but his mind that was definitely fraying. Thanks in large part to being shot in the eyes. He hadn't had a proper sleep since before he'd been poisoned by the Kelsey fire suppressants. Who knew what kind of fucked up shit that stuff might have done on its own, let alone when combined with the alien mutant juice that apparently permeated him. All he could do was try and fight the effects on his judgment and hope that he could find a human doctor on Symbrian who could figure out what was wrong with him. Where are we going now? The Russian asked him, managing to stay close now that Adrian knew the speed he could travel at. I have men who need help. Adrian finished, sparing a glance over his shoulder at the frowning face of the Special Forces man. There was barely enough light to see by, but the man's exposed face at least showed its shape in the strange hues of warmth. I know where they are, and we're going to get them now. Roman's frown deepened. Then is there likely to be a doctor aboard? I believe some may be quite badly wounded, and it is important that they get treatment soon. Adrian gave an ignorant shrug. But no, this isn't my ship or even really my side, he said, putting the data pad to where its tinny little microphone could best do its job. What's the go, command crew? We don't have any doctors, the Gowan male replied. This was intended to be a quick and easy mission. How's that working out for you? asked Adrian with a laugh. The answer was just as terse as expected. Less successfully than we had hoped. We are now on a direct FTL vector for Symbrian, however, so maybe you'll find a human doctor there. I know, I sure as fuck hope so. Adrian replied, his cheer gone. What kind of medical supplies have you got? Minimal, came the one-word reply. It seemed that the Gowan didn't much care for him, but Adrian reckoned he was in the majority there. Shit, it was getting harder for Adrian not to feel the same way. That didn't make Roman happy either. But Adrian supposed that if a crew he was leading was in that position, he'd have been just as pissed off, if not more so. Okay.
I love democracy. Was there, did you guys hear anything? Like, even even if you couldn't see the uh, thingamabobby. Sorry it's so small. If you maximize, oh, if you're on your phone, yeah, it's going to be really hard to read. Because I can see it on my screen here in a little reduced quality, but... <laughs> Found the beaver. <laughs> Did you guys see anything? Am I even back yet? The Russian says his name twice? Okay. Adrian informed. So that's 11, 11 minutes. There had not been many times in Roman Kaminsky's life when he had prayed. As a child, he had, of course, done as his... There had not been many times in Roman Kaminsky's life when he had prayed. As a child, he had, of course, done as his parents had prayed him, dutifully saying his prayers before he went to bed and confessing all to the God he had long since abandoned in all the habits. He prayed now, though. Prayed that the now Australian and seeking crazy schemes to find a way to call Congress and connect to the answer to the FBO would not only not kill them, but would leave them in a position where they could actually get home or at least crack the base. Looks like they've done a real job on fucking stealing this whole lot, Adrian observed, trying to get into the web of cabling that ran below the floor. Give me an arsenite. Want Bryce and have a fool. I do not have my knife. Roman was forced to admit. He hadn't seen much of her points to go carrying around yet more stuff tied to a vacuum suit that was not intended for such attachments. Not when he was as equally capable to just kill by driving his <laughs> It had never been used on any of his missions out in public space thus far. But of course it was when he left it behind that it turned out he didn't need it. Beyond the matter of annoyed resignation, that mission didn't seem to do much besides mildly disappoint the muscle around Australia as an inconvenience. And he instead switched over to striking the final floor with the butt of his rifle. He struck three times in the same spot, driving at it with a precise yet savage power, and crumbling another one. <laughs> this is fucking killing me! <laughs> I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> oh my god. on his judgment and hope that he could find a human doctor on Symbrian who could figure out what was wrong with him. Where are we going now? The Russian asked him, managing to stay close now that Adrian knew the speed he could travel at. Okay. I have men who need help. Adrian finished, sparing a glance over his shoulder at the frowning face of Your time stamps are his natives? There was barely enough light to... 634? Okay. So 634... 634... 4 634 634 Big old breath Thank you After Adrian pops out of the floor. <laughs> that doesn't help me. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know when he pops out of the floor. Uh, your timestamps are in negatives. These ones. What were we talking about? Timestamps for the... Oh, were you talking about for the... You were talking... You thought I meant for the stream. I should have been more specific. That is entirely my fault. I am sorry. Shit. Yep. Hold on. I need to find more, though. When does he say his name twice? But did I did I leave any of like the stream content in there, like that you guys heard up until like the eleven minute mark? 
Because that's really what I'm worried about more than anything else. I don't want there to be, like, too much of the actual stream in there. Roman glared at him. As I recall, it was your explosion that has them so injured. Adrian returned the glare. Mate, do not fucking blame me for what I had to do to get past the plasma trap. Would you have done different if you've been rushing to stop a ship from disappearing out from under you? Damn. Roman continued that wasn't the best. If you'd been rushing to stop a ship from a lot of men like disappearing from out from under you? He'd been a man like that as often as not. And they weren't the sort to admit when they were wrong. But he had but he hadn't denied it, and in spite of his pig-headedness, that was enough. How did you know the traps were there? Roman asked suspiciously, not long after passing the hall. Good. There wasn't much reason that Adrian... He didn't really... Mutant Jesus. The Russian was surprised and raised a book. Useful? Usually no. He'd already started... And he eyed him. The Russian frowned, so he was probably clueless as Adrian himself. Fantastic as usual. And the normally smooth, the closer they got, the closer they, the thicker it was, and it reeked of mold. And then the floor ahead, the biting, mingling with traces of the air. Fuck! Adrian, Adrian stopped, holding up a hand. What is it? Roman demanded. My men are just. Adrian shifted. Tell me, my, did your men? In it would be normal for them to do so until. Probably totally out of their fucking minds by now. Adrian, completely fucking mental. You know, Nathaniel. Roman asked, <sighs> squinting into the darkness. Of what is the definition of a Mary Sue? Because that's the hard part. Because if you really stretch the definition, every single heroic figure in all of fiction is a Mary Sue, and that's. And like I, I do, I do understand the very specific definition of it and how it it can apply. And it 100% it can exist. But, like, I think, and I'm not calling you out here or anything like that. I think the term can be a bit overused sometimes. And I don't, I don't know. I think that there are a lot of them. Um, that's the thing. Because they're unmatched, they're peerless, they just get away with shit all the time for no reason. But I think that depends, I think whether or not a character is a Mary Sue depends on the explanation that you give and how organic and how fun it really feels, you know what I mean? If it's just because, because, hey, look at how fucking amazing this character is, you know what I mean? Then it's not great, you know what I mean? It's almost like the Goku effect, um, but at least Goku has to fucking get his ass kicked a few times before he, you know, gets a little better. Yeah, exactly, with no training. Uh, Ray from Star Wars is kind of a really good example. But, like, if you if you look at it, you kind of get the same sense of that from Luke in the original trilogy. But there's also sort of an implication that a lot more time passes because they don't – they didn't try to jam-pack as much as they – as much as they did into the new trilogy. Like, that's the thing. I think because of the pacing issues – and the gross inflation of the budget, the fandom, everything, trying to appeal and appease everyone, the new movies just kind of... I didn't hate them. I just didn't love them. And that's fine. You know, they'll probably sell a shitload of toys. Dude, yes, Saitama. Fuck, yes. Okay, but that's, that's the whole point for him, right? Is that his struggle isn't attaining power or beating people his struggle is dealing with the existential crises he feels every day because he's reached a physical like he's broken a limiter that people didn't even know existed essentially and has ascended to a power level that literally no one can touch and he's bored and he's sad and he's kind of like why did i do this in a way like i love that i love one punch man Yes, yes, in, in a lot of ways. But that's why I like Death Worlders in, in a lot of ways because you've got the Gowans, you've got the Tengawek, you have the Kortai, you have the Vizkatik, you have the Ruahur, you have all of these races that really do have aspect. You have like the free thinking, the free spirits of the Ruahur, you have the, 
you have the the very logical strapped down uh, Cortai who are actually smart enough that they realize that they've been going in the wrong direction, and I like that. I like that about the Cortai. Yes, that is that is exactly the issue. Is that it takes place in the course of months, months, fucking months. I don't understand. That's too fast. But I'm bitch. I'm bitching about stuff that people have bitched about before. That's the thing. I'm fetching. I'm just fetching. There's nothing to be gained from it, unfortunately. And they're not going to redo it. It's not like with Sonic. Although, did Sonic come out? Okay, 2020. I'm going to go see that, because it actually doesn't look terrible. And I like Jim Carrey. I'm a sucker for a Jim Carrey movie. And Ben Schwartz is in it! Oh, that's because he plays Sonic! Okay, I gotta go see it. I like Ben Schwartz quite a bit. I think he's a good actor. I think he's a good voice actor, too. He's been in a lot of stuff, actually. It's nuts. Yeah, I'm always impressed by good voice acting. Okay. You guys still there? Oh I'm sorry, guys. I was editing my thing. Um, I know. You have a live stream if you're doing it. We're aware. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. That's I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, uh, 66. Whatever. <laughs> 66. Dude. Blimp, exactly, exactly why Mandalorian is doing so much better. And I'll, by the way, I'm done. I don't, my wife isn't, but I'm done with my Disney Plus subscription now. I don't want it anymore because Mandalorian is over. I'll get it back when Mandalorian comes back out. <laughs> I don't give a shit about most Disney stuff. Yeah, you can watch The Simpsons on there, but I can watch that through other things. I'm going back to being a pirate, if I'm being honest. Of The Simpsons? No, no, no. Of The Mandalorian 8. I watched the final one last night, and it was actually, like, that whole series is fucking good, bro. It really is. I really uh, enjoyed I'm not it. Lie, though. There are a couple things I have an issue with, mainly the uh, powerful, not powerful thing on the Mandalorian. And it's like, in one fight scene, he's untouchable, but literally in the next one, he gets taken down with, like, one, one punch. Yeah, Gosh, I, I, also have, I, I also haven't seen, like, the last four episodes, so. Okay. Okay, so the thing is, is like, it's relative, right? Because there's differences right. in relative skill between some things. You know what I mean? Like, the Mandalorian right. is much better than, say, a shitload of battle droids, right? right. He's not better okay. than a shitload of highly trained mercenaries that are very capable just like him. Does that make right. sense? I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. But I mean, like, take, for instance, one of the fights. It's like, in the, in the beginning fight scene of, like, the very first fight scene you've ever seen. He wipes out, like, five Cantina members. No issue. I get that. They're Cantina members. They're basically useless. Yep. However... He doesn't wipe them out. He cuts one in half. He does some cool stuff. He does some cool stuff. <laughs> I stopped what I was saying. Dude, yeah, Sith Jar Jar would have been fucking average, dope. Average, how far have you seen? So we know what we can say and not say. First episode. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Well, like, take for instance those Cantina dudes he deals with relatively easily. Mm -hmm. And I get that. They're Cantina dudes. However, in a very similar scene, he gets Something his butt like absolutely handed I'll to give him. you a first hand account of how fucked up and it And I'm like, excuse me? Like, consistency here. Take for instance another one. He, he gets wrecked by one mercenary, but he deals with like. Yeah, no, I get it. That's the thing. It's definitely good. It's definitely really good. Do what? Yeah, man. Unfortunately, I that's why I was I was literally just talking about that on my stream. 
Um, but yeah. Roman held uh, like another the corridors may look after finding like himself so heavily minor. reliant on a crazy man just John to survive Boyega, and with the likely trilogy to scream way. I still haven't seen the third one, so Roman had been but he was all like I kid you not. A strong Most of his screen time is just him screaming. And if age by it could have a lasting and so another annoying thing where that it. I found stupid is between the second and third movie of Do the Do you trilogy, hear me? The there's a whole bunch of character development that you don't get to see, hear about, or anything like that. It's just, remember the characters from this one? Yeah, we've tweaked them and made them this. No, you won't get an explanation of your messages. <laughs> Dang. Like, the most we get of an explanation is you see Ray trying for about five minutes. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. yeah, and do you know who, uh, do you know who, um... Oh man, I'm gonna, I can't remember. I'm gonna blank on his name. He's like a, he's a dude on YouTube who does like a lot of stuff having to do with like medieval weapons and like uh, martial arts and stuff like that from uh, antiquity. Um, Shad, Shadiversity. Do you know who Shadiversity is? Never heard of him, but I get the channel. Yeah, yeah. he's fucking awesome. And he was talking about how like the, um, like how, <clears throat> what Ray was doing with the lightsaber and how she was like doing that weird wide stance and like kind of like twirling it above her head or whatever did not make any sense and was there's that stance doesn't there's no reason to do that stance basically like even even stability training like you would put one foot back one foot forward essentially and like I don't know anything about sword fighting so this I just take what this guy is saying seems like he knows his shit so I took karate for seven years, and they told us at very, at very early in the training that most of what we learn here is for performance and demonstration, he didn't see not the type. actually used for combat. I get to live. And right. Um, which makes sense because honestly, who, you're, who's going to do a butterfly kick in the middle of a fight? It requires about I don't know, 30 feet of run up, and you kick the air twice, not even directly in front of you. You have to do a curve run, kick the air to the yes. left of your right if you're depending on the way you're aiming. I gotta okay. say. Average dude did a really solid, really good build if his opponent was Tim. <laughs> if only. And, uh, so close. anyway, they, they had us learn a stance called the horse stance, which is exactly the sound. It's just like you're riding a horse. You yeah. squat down, your legs are like a slightly wider than shoulder width apart. You try to put your butt parallel to your knees, things like that. Okay. Um, and it's like, and the idea is the behind it was like you're you you're supposed to be a rock, and I quote that because honestly, if you push somebody on the head, it falls yeah. instantly. Yeah, and the thing However, is, there was, go ahead. There was a different stance where it was like you had one leg, so like you know where your shoulder is. Yeah. Put your foot like a belt. I mean, yeah, I know I know where my shoulder is. Put your foot about a, front, a foot in front of you and a half a foot to your left and put your right foot. Salvage. I'm not standing. Uh, do the story same thing, by but user the other direction, turn your right foot back, uh, Chapter side, 60. We'll you left foot forward. That by far is one of your most stable stances ever because you sink yourself down like... You have forward, you have forward stability and you have backwards and side to side stability. Like you are almost nearly impossible to move. However, there's one major weakness. Hey, look, my entire chest is exposed instead of my face. Very mm. nice. That's the one reason why you don't want to do that in the middle of a fight. Because I see. Honestly, it's better to not get hit than being hit, believe it or not. What? So, so there, there's two stances you want to use during a fight. So the one I just told you about is great for demonstration. It looks powerful, it looks strong, whatever else. However, the fight you want to use most is basically you turn yourself sideways and stick your feet slightly, shoulder, slightly longer than shoulder width apart. And then just bounce on the balls of your feet, balls of your feet. And what this offers up is a, you can move backwards and forwards very easily, left and right very easily. You, it just offers up a lot of options for both a attack, b defense, and c mobility. Because the whole idea, about? stances fighting. for fighting. Because the idea is, what's better than being hit? How about not being hit in the first place? So. How about hitting your opponent? Yeah, that too. And that's why that stance is used as well, because it, your foot, Save. Your feet are always We're about to upload it, boys. Your hands, 
Your hands are in front of your face. <laughs> oh, we're about, about to do honestly, it. That's why you see it in every fighting movie ever. I don't go look at any general fight movie and you'll see it. It's just that common. It's just the perfect stand. Make a lurker then. I've been in a real fight. They're not very fun. What are? What? Real fights. Real fights. I'd prefer to run from them at this point. I'll tell you that much right now. They're not fun whether you win or lose. <clears throat> They're dumb. Fun to watch. Are they? Uh, I just remember. Now. No, yeah. no, they're not fun to watch. That's the thing is, like, if you go on, like, World Star Hip Hop, you can watch some street fights right fucking now. You can watch some vicious fucking knockouts. You can watch some ratchet ass bitches fucking pulling hair, too, and fucking tossing weaves. That shit's crazy. Yeah, that pisses me the fuck off. That really makes me mad. Like, if someone's, first of all, if someone's down, they're down, in my opinion. It doesn't matter if they're out or not. If they get back up, that's their business. But if they're down, you leave them the, the fuck alone. Know when to. It's rude to kick somebody while they're down. Uh, yes, I know. Where that came from. Incredible. Um, I don't believe you. You're lying. It's not true. Who uh, uh, knows what I'd say? You're making yeah. up stuff. You're making stuff up, Fangs. I don't believe you. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of a ratchet girl and hair pulling, I happened to walk in on you like sticks. And I was like, ah, oh, I've been on yes. one of those types of fights where it's like the two girls are screaming and clawing at each other and ripping hair and all that. It's just like, yeah, those aren't. Uh, I mean, um, they're vicious. If, if you're not, if you're not they're very vicious. vicious. But that's not a. No. I'm it's trying not, not it's to not die. I'm not getting jumped. Oh, God. Was, Have you been jumped? Yeah, it's fun, right? Fucking sucks. I believe every man has to get jumped once. It's not fun. I don't like it. I disagree with you. I think everyone should avoid it at all costs. It's not a fun experience. Especially when you're outnumbered three to one. To become a man, you have to kick the shit out of someone and get the shit kicked out of you. I disagree entirely. It's, I, I don't like fighting. It's better to avoid that shit and know how to avoid it, in my opinion. No, I'm, I'm 100% yes. Words are good. Words are very good. Words are great. And as much as I hate using them sometimes, the number of fights that I've avoided just by saying the right thing at the right time, somewhere close to like 300. Jesus. What have you been doing? What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you doing that you have avoided 300 fights? Yeah, okay, fair enough, I guess. Oh, I bet you get out of situations with that mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It was messed up. I, I, I take it back. I take it back. I do take it back. I take it back. I put it away in the corner, and we, we forget about it, and I never said it. I don't care. I'm friends with those types of people. They make those jokes more often than you ever could. What, about sucking dick? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. I was in theater growing up. He's not wrong. <laughs> they they one hundred percent are just like, oh yeah, let's talk about sucking decks. Like, okay. Uh, what how, how what's it like? I don't know. You. you ever have a popsicle that's not cold? No. Like that. Like oh. all right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the particular person I'm talking about did ask me, what's that like to, like, what's that like? It's like, I don't know, you ever put your face in a Sarlacc pit? <laughs> kind of like that. Or like a box of cow tongues. That's another good one. A woman's <laughs> What? Whoa, I was talking about, no, no, no. I was talking about further up, like, you know, closer to the belly button. Oh, okay. I mean, that's everyone's down with eating ass these days, right? That's everybody's everybody's doing it. <laughs> everybody's doing the analingus. Good, good for them. I mean, 
What was second base when I was a kid? I think second base was like boob touching. Yeah, boob touching. That's not what it used to be, but okie dokie. I'm pretty sure it did. I'm pretty sure up the shirt was always second base. And third, third was doing stuff. Like with each other. Your brother got, got mugged. Someone approached him and his buddy with a knife. His buddy dropped onto all fours and started barking like a mad dog. My six foot four brother then proceeded to say, wonderful, another lamb to the slaughter. What the fuck, Nathaniel? That, that's something out of a goddamn novel. No, Nathaniel. Nathaniel Trim. Oh, who is this? Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Someone on my stream. I wish, I wish there was a unit for Terran that was half as good as Archons are in the fucking game. Marauder? No. Archons are so good. Yeah. Archons are a great no. unit. Especially with shield. What upgrades are their shields? Just kidding. <laughs> what what are their what are their shield upgrades at though? Their uh not their armor, their shields. Anything? What is this game? One armor and that's it. Nice. So there's uh, wait, two two attack versus one armor. Okay. Oh my and the banelings had the advantage. No dan no kidding. Alright. Archons are fucking <laughs> it's insane. Good. No. Yeah. Oh, Archons are wonderful. I love Archons. He says he doesn't need to. He literally doesn't need to. I mean, yeah, I guess eventually that one DT will kill everything. But although it helps if it doesn't continue fighting the high threat. I have the best wall. I love the wallpapers I pick for my computer. I'm gonna pick a new one though. I have, I have the sphere of a dune one. for my wallpaper. Mine right now is Nicolas Cage as Ger uh, Geralt of Rivia. Wow, so yeah, it's fucking amazing. Did we want to remake with Ren? I'm not done yet. I'm still uploading my video. Oh my it's it's exporting now. I'm sorry. I was wrong and you were right. Zren time is fucked. I'm sorry. He said about what immigrants? What? Oh, what? I don't think that's right. No, it's about 44% done. Rarely, if ever, works. You're just lucky Silent never got stolen. I that would have ended stopped. so much faster. Well, you weren't using them. You need... Yeah. Locks. Oh, Albino Locks. exists now. If you're gonna go Bruce, don't go Hydras. Just go Roach. Then you need Bane Roach. It's cheaper and you can get the rest. Everybody's better than me in this Ravager. party, except for can, maybe Shotwire. Shotwire. You get caught up in the Shotwire. Play my fucking Protoss. Yes! You're terrible, Protoss. Kick his ass. <laughs> Like, seriously, watching you play Protoss is so fun! Can Ritho be Albino's Protoss? Ritho, I believe you can. I believe you. I believe you can. Here's the deal. Here's what you do to him. Proxy 2 racks him, and he will crumble to dust. I guarantee it. So, I can't say it. Talking to me? Yeah, running in Starcraft no, no, I close. I close. No, oh, my back just popped in a million ways. Oh, uh, well, that won't work. Yeah. Proxy 2 gate him then. <laughs> That'll work. I'll still crush him. What? The whole reason I. Ch what? Secrecy. What? Who gives a shit, dude? I can't see anything. I don't know anything. Ritho does. R R Ritho does. R right. I don't know what 
I I do now. I know your Protoss. I don't know where you even, where where the guy even is. You know. Well, Wirtho wanted to keep it a secret. And that was the whole reason. See, then why do, why do you not tell me that in the chat? You, I have no context. I, going like, uh, I have zero context for what you're telling me. My apologies, Ritho. I'm sorry, bud. Sure do. How will you solve that problem? It's shield batteries. Oh, shield batteries. <laughs> My bad, man. I didn't mean to like, turn the game well, in any way. I hate doing that. Right huh? Alright, where the fuck? Ow. 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 Jesus, were they drunk, Nathaniel? Drunk. If they were drunk, that would make perfect sense. Like, no. really yeah. perfect sense. These are not drones. <clears throat> this is a true statement. Um, All right. Oh my fucking god, oh, my stalkers suck. Stalkers are amazing, dude. You have to micro them right. Amazing. Stalkers are the best. Stalk. Stalk. You just don't know how to micro stalkers. <laughs> no, he's doing the right thing. It's just, <laughs> he didn't do it well enough. Oh, I see. Cannon rush, albino. He's got a stalker. My stalkers! <laughs> my stalkers! He's just, he's, I don't know what's going on, but I can envision it. One Did they just get. Oh, yep. He built a wall. He built a wall with a pylon and two gates, and they put a shield battery on the only other side of the stalker. Oh no. Into the one spot I could get stuck. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> did it get? However, <laughs> did something get destroyed? Nice suit ability on Nexus to get it unstuck. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Bang, you got Told the me way too late, bro. Uh, no, Ruth, Silent has been saying it for oh, the past thirty I seconds. Lost that. <laughs> <laughs> no, one time. Just go F two one time. Just once. Just, just, just hit the key. It's see what you got out there. I'm gonna dig this hole till oh, I, I think fall in. Effective. I think he did a good job. What what did he do? Ritho, he did a cannon rush. Nice. Hey man, I'm really proud of you. You know I love that cannon rush. That's what she said. Ritho hard committed to it. Alright. Cannon rush over. It's shut down now. This takes one immortal. Yep. Literally. One immortale. Unless you have like eight cannons and eight batteries, in which case you, you're a fucking insane person anyway. It's a good point. The range will do it. Ugh, 75%. Could you please finish your story? I want to listen to it. I mean, I want to pretend to read it. I mean, um. Pretend to hear you talk. Wait, what? What? Nerds. Not a whole lot of their nerd. Oh, shit. Sounds sick. What's going on? Not a whole lot. I sound sick? Yeah, you sound oh. sick, bruh. <laughs> Saw it. Saw it. Saw it. it. No, no, we will not be doing that here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who was just starting to get into the end? Like, wow. Oh, That's crazy. Yeah, man. Jesus, guys. <laughs> guys, this is a Christian stream. Could we? Please? Just a little decorum. A little decorum, please. It helps that I've met these people. Like, I, I've met these people. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, you live in California. I'm not surprised you've met these people. Yeah, exactly. Those people exist. They're mostly there. Hold on, my wife. Yeah, my wife is calling me. Unfortunately. <laughs> yes, my love. My love. My yeah, love, can you hear me? What's up? No, I don't have Lincoln. Where is he? Emily. What are you? What are you saying? Yeah, apparently, average. No! 
I thought you meant. I thought you meant he got out. God, Emily, you scared the shit out of me, honey. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I'll go. I'll go yell for him. He'll come out. All right. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Got kisses. I like the choice right though. Come say hello to Daddy. Oh, that's that thing. God damn it. Come say hello to the people. Up on the chair. Up on the chair? Just put your paws up. Oh, you silly boy. But if you get that for them. There's my big old bubs. There's my bubby boy. The best boy in the whole wide world. That's him. Right there. Best bub. Oops. Is that a Are you sending us camera a sound? What was that? Oh, sorry, I was <laughs> What did you take a picture of? Oh god. Oh Jesus. No, I didn't. I just heard picture sound. I just heard the click button. I heard the button go click. I didn't realize my phone was <laughs> e Lincoln, why are you staring at the door, bud? I'm not letting you back out there. Oh, You're fine in here. Lay down. What are you doing? Weirdo, lay down. Why do you want to lay at the top of the stairs, you weirdo? Alright, you're just standing right there. That's really nice. You sound different. You sound better. 97%. This is in true. PvP? This is true. Jesus. Accidentally queued Protoss. Uh, I want to play broken. PvP against you. 20, 20 seconds. I want to so play that. That would be that would be very game, fun. Until, I'll, until you bet, you can do that. Uh, Ritho, I'll, I'll <laughs> stay in this game until <laughs> Of my dog. All right, here we go. Now I upload the video. Here we go, guys. I'm doing this. I select the file. I'll bring it over here. Drag and drop. Salvage. That little bit Chapter away. 66. We go no. to all my other videos and we copy all of the information from the last no. video. You saw that. Uh, the production tab is very spicy. One chance of success. I'm just kidding. You had no chance of success. There was no chance. Yeah, no. I, once I stopped, when I hard committed and didn't, had you yeah, not we're said gonna it, fucking hard committed, dickhead. <laughs> we're gonna, yeah, right, we're we'll remaking. Yeah. Don't give me enough. Give you enough I what? I pressure you hard enough. Give me enough credit. I, I, I knew you. Yeah, I know. I, I know that you, you know, is very committed. But <laughs> I is going snowboarding tomorrow. Yeah. Yay! Tell us. Oh fuck! I literally muted myself. I just found this new button on my keyboard that I think it you deafens too. everybody. Well, oh. makes us deafening or deafen. Deafens. I can't hear nothing. That's not what deafen means, but whatever. Yes, it is. To deafen somebody is to mute them. <clears throat> it's to make it so you aren't able to hear them or you have muted them. Well, it it deafens me, right? So it means yes. I'm deaf. I can't hear shit. Yes, that's, yeah, that's really the correct way it should be used, but English is stupid, so whatever. <laughs> I messaged you a whole shit ton of times in the last, like, hour or so. Weird. We have to wait for an uh, invite to wear off. Or you could just reject them from the party. Right click the name and click remove the party. True. Fucking chair is just smoldering. 
Why the fuck am I so warm? <laughs> Need some beer. To cool you down. That I'm pretty sure it's like the opposite. That more. Don't feed his addiction. Yeah, I'm pretty all, sure I don't have it. First of all, I don't have any some else. fireball. That I do have see how fast it uploads. But I'm not doing that. No, I need to go fucking find out if my air conditioning is on or if my heat pump puts 60 out. So it's my computer heats up this room. It's gonna be a fucking thing. So my That's why my window off. open. Yeah, hun. Yeah, it's not cold. Hun. Yeah. Emily! Henry. Emily has ceased oh, to exist, Ren. Wait, what? Henry? Em em was that uh, Ren's what? Hun? Oh, that was Ren. Yeah. Oh, by you the way. Yes. What? My dog's name is Henry. Love you too. No, Emily. Uh, I'm gonna try. It just depends. <laughs> Uh, guys, dude, at least play it in modern. Alright, honey, I love you. That's a superior way to play. I love you too, baby. <laughs> love, love the person, yep. Alright, I'm gonna go find food. Because food's, food's amazing. <laughs> um, I'm only playing Protoss right now. Only Protoss type here. Nathaniel, I don't know. I have contemplated this many, many times, and I feel like statistically it's impossible that we're alone in the universe. Whether or not we'll ever meet that life, I don't know. Whether or not that life will be intelligent, I also don't know. So, I don't know. First two minutes, seconds. All right. So I just found out that Albino has a new pet named Retard. <laughs> the fuck? Alright, so I'm trying to see... Uh, that's that's the link for the new video. I don't know when it's going to be quite up. Because it's saying it is... Still processing. So I don't know. Is bacteria on Mars a thing? Or is it bacteria that we brought there? Is it there? Was it there already? Did we bring it there on the rover somehow? That somehow survived space? Do 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 Nine hours. It's charging at 7%. What the fuck? That is terrible. I gotta get a charger for that. I need a butt. I need a charger. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out if my video is still uploading, what's going on with it. Zero percent process. Why is it taking so long? Uh, guys, I think I might have to stop my live streaming. Weird. Huh. No. No. Can you upload video while streaming? I don't even know. I have, I don't even know anything about it, Nathaniel. I honestly don't know a thing about it.
Okay, so I'm looking at Wikipedia and it says earth bacteria capable of growth and reproduction in the presence of highly salted solutions called halophiles or salt lovers were tested for survival using salts commonly found on Mars and at decreasing temperatures. The species tested include Halomonas, Marinococcus, Nestorenconia, and Virgabacillus. Vir 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 Virgibacillus. 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 I just don't know why my video is not processing. There it goes. Processed. Done. Okay. Video's up, guys. Stream is going to be right here for a second. I will be right back because that video is up now. So you guys enjoy. I rushed the editing on this. I feel bad, but... All right, Lincoln, you want to go outside? Want to go outside, Bobo? Go outside.
Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My bad. It's not my fault. My wallpaper's amazing, and you can't like handle it. Okay. Okay. It's not my fault. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. There's just there's a lot of people. I'm gonna mute everybody. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Okay. Yeah, I my data cap for my my uh, landline this month. Did you? Yeah. I'm gonna call him and be like, I don't know what you're talking about. How? Like you didn't you didn't tell me I exceeded it. I would have, you know, not used my internet. <laughs> Get it <laughs> It's it's really dumb that I have 300 megs down, 300 megs up, and I have a terabyte gig data cap. It's the dumbest shit ever. Huh? What? Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's really dumb. I only exceeded about once every. Oh, this is the second time I've exceeded it. Does it? But it's fifteen. It's like fifteen or sixteen dollars more a month to get unlimited data, and it's just like. I exceed it once every six months. No. Okay. Fair enough. Does anyone want to play team games? Uh, we have a party at Hades right now. Oh, okay. Also, that was a wonderful set of changelings just sitting there watching everything that was played. Albino, you fucking animal. What do you do? Uh, he's just... He's just owning me. Alright, I'm back. What I need to do. Ow. I need to Lincoln, place. are you going to my closet? Oh, there, buddy? What are you doing in my closet? The thing of it is, it's is warm I right there, huh? Other races than I am as carrying your own race. That sucks. With the exception of like just uh, habit, right? Like repeatedly pressing the buttons, you know, right. timings, you know, etc. Right? Those specific things, I'm better at carrying. Every well, other race. disagrees with you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fairly certain you're correct. Oh, oh you got wow. the Ovi. All right. Uh, not the Ovi, the Observer. The observer. Obs. Obs. I just don't get supply capped as often when I'm when I'm tossed and when I'm zerk. How the hell do you have brute force? Oh want? my god. They're oh, not. Storm. They're overseers. They're overseers. Yeah. I get supply capped as Terran almost every time. Uh, I, I felt like I survived longer if I could shoot as hard. Yeah, oh. had 12 bases, man. Yeah, I, I kind of believe. Really did three quarters of the damn map. <laughs> I crease for this My dog is the biggest friggin' ham in the whole world. Sometimes, but not normally. My Zerg guy is for the depot. You, you sir, you're a depot builder. Rith, though, I don't... you should let me coach you, macros. <laughs> you know my tricks work. Hmm. I could just Maybe if you look at me play, you can one... beat it. Yeah, maybe if you just, just suck less Rith, I'm just you gonna beat. teach you how to knight us, bro. You wanna yeah, learn how to defend shit. <laughs> okay, if you want to be Masters 3 forever. This is best race. I mean, mop, mop, not a floor. I can't, yeah, I, I actually... also cannot, um, I'm really bad at mirror matchups unless I'm Terran. That's the other biggest thing. Well, uh, my Zerg mirror matchup is actually probably better than mine. Can I play your Zerg? My P mirror matchup is my best matchup of all time, period. I'm like, I don't know, I think I've played like five and I've won every one. Because. You played five? Oh, shoot. Uh -huh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> my, uh -huh. my best. My best they like matchup is me. ZBT. Maybe ZBT. It might be ZBT as well. I think. 
The thing is, this PvP is just so easy. <laughs> I'm. My play is pretty solid. Yeah, def I would def I just Zach, find bro, fuck. working Protoss is easy. They never see the Broodlords. And it always comes yeah. early. Are you kidding me? Broodlords are like the easiest thing to deal with as a Protoss player. Mmm, depends. I thought you were going, um, Mass Roach. Like an all in, like a max out Roach build. That's why I'm pumping yeah. Immortal and like I'm playing. Like, uh, uh, what? The thing was, is I, I was maxed on like Roach Raptor Lake. I just traded away some army. Broodlords. You made so many broodlords, Ned. You should have gone Colossi. Okay. Go make your own black or blackjack hooker wallpaper then. I believe in you. Storm only does about a quarter or so of Roach's health and then he kind of loses his effectiveness. Nah, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. You wanna go Immortal Storm. You wanna go Immortal Storm, because if you go Colossus, you're just gonna die to the Brood Lords every time. Which is... Which well, I was getting to my other point. You are forcing... The Zerg player to go into a unit, and by such, you can counter that. But the thing is... is you it's not necessarily the wrong there. So what are you gonna do after? You gonna mass Void Rays to counter Brood Lords? It's not a bad idea. Immortals, you have to make Storm, you have to make Archon, you have to kill him before he gets Brood Lords. Yeah. Okay, I would love it if every Protoss mass Void Rays. It's, it's like if they mass Stalkers. I never said start with mass Void That's not what I said. That is, that. that is true. He said you have to force your opponent into something and then you counter that. Vipers are Vipers good. Are Vipers are great. Parasitic bomb's good. Parasitic bomb is amazing. And luckily for Albino, everyone in my league has no idea what a parasitic bomb is. And when they see one, they're like, oh, right, but. Yeah. Right. That, the key word there is in my league. Yeah. Those, that's more than one word. I'm kidding. But key, phrase. key phrase. Key phrase, yeah. Phrase. Thinking in diamond, however, not as effective. People actually get exploited. Fuck, I was trying to add my opinion this whole time. I was nah. <laughs> You're probably like, why is no one listening to me? Talking over me. Nope, we just can't hear you. Didn't hear you at all, man. Or you know what? It's amazing. We just don't care. Who knows? Well, what I was gonna say is that Zerg is the Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Zerg is we all know it. Yeah. If I knew how to play Zerg, I'd be a fucking GM. <laughs> so, if you guys, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, if Cero played Terran, what do you think? Yeah, I did. I think he'd be pretty good. Okay, to put it, to put it in perspective. I just played my game and then I win the game. All the WCS players, only two of them were not. <laughs> Stating that now, only two of all the WCS players were not Zerg. I thought a Terran would be up there. So yeah. There was a Terran and a Protoss. That was it. What, at WCS? Classic mm -hmm. Maru. Classic and like, Maru. The top it means team. top 8. Mm -hmm. top no, eight, top 16. No, there was more than. Yeah, top 16. Eight. I was there. There's oh, you know, I might do that, buddy. Zergs in the top 16. Yes. That can't be right. Is that really right? No time, look it up. Noah, Noah, look it up on Liquipedia. Go WCS turn. Well, I can already name three that are not Terran. Showtime special. Yeah, special. Bar. Special. Bar. There we go. Classic meme. Special. Bro, you already lost. You already lost. Okay, sure, there was, buddy. I think it was eight out of the 16 were zero. I think that was... That's eight. still a lot. That's half. No, it was like... It was like Six. nine. It's still, that's a <laughs> shitload. God damn. Oh, well, you fucker. I left work early tonight. I had some pay time. But fuck it. I left. Yeah. Yep. You didn't want to jog forklift anymore? 
I was not feeling too good. I got a nap. Oh, I think I there. crashed my StarCraft. Did you manage that? I'll, I alt tabs and then alt tabs back in. I do that all the time. Alright, here we go. Here come the DTs, here come the DTs, here come the DTs, here come the DTs. And he just used a scan, just used a scan, just used a scan. You can see them, but can you kill them all? That is the question, you moron. I am very mean when I go DTs because it's fucking hilarious. a better distribution. And then you had Trap, Classic, Maru, Hero, Stats. Stats, Hero, man. Hero Marine, a laser. Or not a laser, Troton. 14. Ah! I just sacked those when I didn't need to. Back, 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 back. And it is actually six. So the shot wire just six had six. to cut me off and go, actually, there's nine. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. Fucking a laser. So wait, then who were the other two? Who were the non -bugs? There was Maru, Classic, Classic, Special, Need, and Classic. There was Classic, Trap, and Maru. Were the other ones. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think Trap was in there. Classic, Maru, I think he's... I'm looking yeah. at he's looking at it, man. I didn't lie to you. Thank you. Maru, Trap, and the two Potos, the Classic, that great. I'm telling you guys, you the game out. is... It really ain't though. The most overpowered unit is uh, on Zerg, so. No. The Marine? No, the Swarm House. The Marine is Zerg? No, you. That's the most broken fucking unit in the game if you do it right. You can avoid all of those. You can avoid literally all of those. If you catch him, if you catch him, yes. But you don't always. It's a problem. And my storms are on point. Mm. How would you play a game and show me? Because oh. I'm playing on my God laptop. Or shit on my it's, it's nice, but it's also scaring me. If you, if you had shit watch, I would all be dead. You DC'd. If y'all keep trash talking to each other. Yeah, let's just be nice. <laughs> Love you guys. You guys are my friends. <laughs> Don't do this. It's just like when I was a child. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I never get it. Yeah, it's, that's the life backstory. Yeah, that's, that's the point. I'm trying to defuse the situation so everybody calms the fuck down. How about we start bullying for instead? There you go. That works. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I can take it. I'm a man. Give me 300 PSI. What does it sound like I'm in a tunnel? Yeah, that too. Because it lives under a bridge. Yeah, I'm a troll now. A literal one. So far, so good. I'm enjoying it. Not very creative, but I like it. I, like those yes. I want some more like Bob Ross, happy little accident type things. I think that would be better. Cyclone. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. This fucking flock of mutas, man. This fucking flock of mutas. I don't have Storm. I have Archons and fucking these guys. I am. I'm actually just blink stalkering. We need to attack. He's not. They're not doing what I need them to do, which is attack. How many mutas are there? Because if there's about less than 15 stalkers, when that light just blink under me, like I believe in you. <laughs> This is fucking stupid. I'm basically fighting against three fucking people because my team can't do dick. Oh, you do That's too much. That I can't beat that. That's way too many carriers. That's fucking way too many carriers. Nah, man. I'm. I usually do really, really, really well in these. I lose very few of them. Bye, Banshee. Especially with I play with when I play with my my good buddy Shotwire here. Especially when I play with my good bounty albino as well. So just like screw everyone else. Wait to make it. No, the, we literally. Uh, the, what I'm saying is, the other day, I'm pretty sure we went on the like most ridiculous tear in two v two. Where is it here? Does um, Watchtower doesn't provide detection. Yeah, we're still 18 and 3, by the way, Albino. Nice. Why am I not D2 yet? One game. <laughs> I just haven't done it. Are, my teams are fucked up because I've been Why? playing like Silvers. <laughs> I just haven't done it. Uh, uh, Land the Vikings. Probably should. No, Man, why am I so thirsty? He did overstem. It was very nice for, uh, for Thou because he would have won that fight if he didn't overstem. Oh wow, you did that without stim? Good job, bro. Oh, man. Killed my stim. Ooh, see, you shan't go. Red, though, is just like, my base? What's that? <laughs> What's a base? Please do what I want you to do, goddammit. <laughs> what? Do you... There we go. That's perfect. Let's see. I'm a, I'm a, that almost convinced me to start doing that because that sounds awesome. But like, can you imagine the complexity of that? Like, drop on the tanks, like, and then you go like make thirty by like, make, like, dude, the complexity. You need to sync. Listen, you need to sync your eyesight with your voice. No, 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 but it's not even that, like, it's not even, it's not even that, It's like, connected to your brain, bro. <clears throat> okay. Like, because it's, like, think about brain. it. The most complicated thing is, like, set storm A, B, C to storm section A in the brains and section B, but only storm after a point two set, like, those types of things. Because, like, there are actual strategies when it comes to, like, mini strategies when it comes to micro, and a voice connect, you just can't say that fast enough. Oh, like fungal chain fungal this okay. section of units to make sure Michael No, Michael it would be like this. It'd be like this. All units attack. Fungal parasitic bomb. Back the fuck right, up. Right, but back the, the fuck where? Up, back where? The fuck where are you fungal. fungling in parasitic bomb? <gasps> Wherever it the my computer looks at the screen, it reads the screen, the and wherever the, the United States, I can't possible, fucking find it. It fungles there. But then that's basically hacking. I, I'm trying to do this hack play. I'm not. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess if we're going to include screen reading algorithms, and in that case, my response would then be, what's, what, how do you determine what's a more valuable target than another? Because, think about this, there might be, like, I don't know, 
30 Marines that's grouped together. That's easy, that's easy. There might be 30 Marines grouped together or 5 bullets. <laughs> yes, I'll just hit Control A, Control C, Control V, Alpha Star. That works. But remember, we have to include voice activation. That's what this whole thing is stemming from. So are we trying to make a pure algorithm or include voice activation? I think I'm done with this project. <laughs> you understand why programming sucks? Pro okay, let me rephrase that. Do you understand why programming without a clear goal in mind sucks? Nope. And that's why you don't program. I'll see. In that case, you need a program. Okay, I'm trying to find I, I played the program. Exactly. Guess what? I am the program. Guess what? You're in a program. Can you prove that? Not yet. Not yet, he says. Okay. One day. We'll prove that and that the Earth you is know, flat. There's actually, there's actually a significant amount of evidence that suggests we do live in a simulation, which is interesting. The only is. being that everything, everything we know, <coughs> everything we know is based on math. Jonathan, I might do some suggested readings tonight. Yeah, I miss the whole saw... fucking dance of Kirby's and stuff over here. Dang it! I once saw a homeless dude with no shoes picking up cigarettes off the ground and smoking. Yep. You have to be simulation. Why? Bro, I've been to downtown Atlanta. Oh I went to a bad part of it called Atlanta. Yeah, I went to a... Queens are good. Those are his favorite yeah, unit. One marine in time. <laughs> Trust me, bro. I'm making up queens. <laughs> okay, but he might to transfuse every single marine individually. He very well might. I synced it. On uh, w or Q or. I use e personally. For rapid fire, I, that interferes with probes. I don't like it. Oh, I don't mind it. No! Why are you hotkeyed there? Those Marines look like they hurt. I mean, he told me exactly what they hurt. I almost broke it. And you did nothing about it. Oh, macro game, bro. Yeah, oh, macro game. Because he had fucking. How many Banshees attacked me? Yeah, well, I wasn't that serious. Build a command center. Oh my god. <laughs> You're right over there, Fangs. <laughs> Do you need a new pair of pants? <laughs> no, I had no, seven no, tanks that died, bastard. <laughs> I had seven tanks. He's just a better player than me, and he did me. Up until this moment, I didn't even know what our opponents were. The fans are both Zerg, if I'm... Yellow. They are both Zerg. I do like winning games on occasion, man. Sometimes I just win one. Babe. Emily, why do you not respond to me in the beginning? Are you there? <sighs> I go hop on and play Godhood. Cause I can't hear you. Rip. Uh, Mindy did. 
Okay, what do you want me to do? I'll go get him here in a second. I, Emily, I can't, then you go do it, because I can't step away at the moment. Can you, please? Jesus, Pete. That's fine. Genocide's cool. Commit many much genocide. Well, if average dude is in here, dude. Yeah, yeet. You guys know who is? Yes, sadly. Oh, wow. Oh, wall, wall. No, nope. that's too late there. Okay. What the fuck is this? Stupidity. Hasn't yet, buddy. Hasn't worked yet. Hmm, I don't think so. I think they're wasting everything. Headbutting. See? Saving your shit. I can give you money once this is all said and done. I'm playing like a week, so bear with me. Good buddy. Yeah, save. That. See? Saved. I'm coming. Need two seconds to. Get stuff back up. I'll give it to you. At least my tank's still alive. Right? My economy is fucked. My economy is fucked. It's good. For that. <laughs> I mean, they just made like a hundred lanes of each one off the wall. I'm so. rushing. Maybe make some pellets. Wait, I need to check where he's. Just go kill him, dude. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Go kill him right now. Just rebuild. Uh, you can do. You could go Phoenix, maybe. Or, or do you want me to go like raid the carriers or some shit like that? If you're gonna go do that, go Phoenix then. Just a bunch of queens. Yeah. Yeah, they're okay. Yep, of course he did.
Yeah, you like it the way that dick tastes, bitch? Um, yeah, a little bit. Ugh, I can't kill both of them, god damn it. This is so dumb. Nice catch on the wings. Can't recover. It's too late. Did you see those wings? Did you see that? No, I didn't. I did not see them until they were already in. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go check on my dog. That was fucking nuts. So close. Shucks, guys. I'm sorry. That's actually gonna end up being it for the night. I gotta, I gotta end up going to bed. Forgot about shit I had to do in the morning, and it's almost one. Later, buddy. Yeah, good game, man. We'll we'll play that uh, placement match tomorrow. Sound good? Okay. All right. Sorry, bud. Are you alone, Trawire? <laughs> I am. Wah 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 wah. All right, guys. So sorry. I gotta go back and read the read this real quick. <laughs> Redacted messages, yeah, no kidding, right? Are they really hard to hear? I'll t I'll I'll turn them up. It's probably that the main mix is too low or something. Check that. I'll fix that the next time I'm in. Uh, it's not Discord, it's actually the Blizzard chat, but. All right, guys. I am going to log off here. Going to go to bed. Get up pretty early in the morning tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the new chapter, and uh, I will talk to all of you later. Bye.